Hey everybody, what's up? It's AJ, Snow Tracks TV, and last night a new sled arrived. I wasn't here, I was at home, but I was told that something arrived. I'm hoping that it's a Lynx boondocker and I can get out and, uh, you know, do a little bit of testing on that. I know everybody's all excited about Lynx and these new sleds. I don't get it. I mean, like, you know, it's just a Lynx. There's people out there who are fanboying over everything with this stuff, but uh, not me. I wouldn't do that. Anyways, let's open up the garage door and we'll see what we got here. Okay, so that is not a Lynx Boondocker. That is a Mach Z, but I am equally as excited about this. I'm just gonna uh, have to go get changed because this doesn't work. I'll meet you out on the lake. Okay, now this is a little bit better. And right here in front of me, I have a 2022 Skidoo Mach Z. And if you've been anywhere on the snowmobiling internet for the past couple of weeks, you know that this has the new 900 Ace Turbo R model, 180 horsepower. This is Skidoo's answer to the turbo market with bigger, better, badder. Um, it brings the Moxie back in a, in a really cool way, a modern way, but still gives you that, you know, low ground, uh, you know, low, low CG, um, lower stance. This vehicle overall is, uh, I believe it's 1.5 inches lower to the ground. Um, suspension travel, I think up front is about 9.6 inches and the back, it's just over 11. So it does lose a little bit of suspension travel, but Skidoo's reasoning behind that is that they want to keep this thing low to the ground. They want to give it squatted down. And when they do take that suspension travel out of the rear skid, what happens is the angle of attack on the front of the track becomes more uh, laid back, less aggressive. And that means you can get higher mile per hour numbers when you're out on the lake squeezing the throttle, which is exactly what this sled is all about. Some cool stuff about it that I'll walk you through. Uh, Skidoo went away from the all electronic uh, throttle. That silly one that you, sorry, it's not, some people liked it, the one you can flip over and use as a trigger finger. This one is strictly a cable actuated, but it does go from cable down to an electronic uh, butterfly on the throttle body still. So it's a hybrid cable slash electronic throttle system. With that, it gives you a much better throttle feel. It's got, it's got the same feel as your regular 850 E-Tech throttle. It's great. It's, it's, it's much more enjoyable. It feels the way that these 900 Ace motors should have always been. I love it. This is, this is the way to go. It feels great and Skidoo's done a great job with it. Now on top of that, the Mach-Z comes with a whole bunch of really cool stuff that kind of integrates with that throttle. One of them being launch control. Launch control is super cool and I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to start this thing up. I, I first got on it and I was like, is there no launch control button? But it's, it's really simple to figure out and I, I didn't know how to do it. I didn't look online and I, I purposely did that so I could find out how easy it was to use. And it's super easy. All you have to do is have your, uh, your throttle control mode into sport. And then you just hold that button up in sport. And I'm gonna show you right here. So come on over and uh, I'll fire it up. You can hear this thing purr too. It sounds really nice. It's got a much throatier note than uh, the regular old uh, 900 Ace Turbo had. It's got a little bit of a growl to it. It's definitely a throatier sound. It's, it's, the, it's the best sounding four stroke right now on the market. It sounds really good. And when, once you get it warmed up a bit, it's got a little bit, of, little bit of gurgling and popping that happens. It's nice. So come on over here and I'll show you on the display. Hopefully you can see this and uh, you'll be able to see how you get it into launch control mode. So on the, down here on the gauge or on the, the center pod, you've got your drive mode selections. If you put it into eco, the RPM drops. When you put it into sport mode, RPM raises up a little bit. And then up here on the gauge, watch what happens. So I'm in sport mode down here. That changes and goes away. If I go to eco, it goes to eco. When I go to sport, it goes to sport. Now right up here, as soon as I hold this drive mode button up, you'll see the little, it's kind of like a little speedo that pops up. That means that now I'm in launch control. <clears throat> For launch control to work now, I gotta hold the brake, which is straight forwards hold the brake down a bit and then I reach over to the throttle and I can hold this thing as far as I want and all it does is just sit here and pop and bang and snap and it sounds great I love it so when we do that <clears throat> what's happening is the engine is building boost so that as soon as we let go of that that brake lever as soon as you let go of the brake lever you get all power right down to the ground it's super cool it works really well I've played with it out here a couple of times and it literally feels like you're shooting out of a cannon. It's, it's great, it's, it's really fun. Uh, I don't know, Skidoo, if you guys can put this on anything else, but it should be on everything. I probably can't put it on a two-stroke because we don't have the electronic throttle body, but man, if you could, 
that that is a fun feature that that brings a lot of a lot of smile value there so i've had a blast with that and i'm really enjoying it and you know what it's a lake racer type feature if you're out on the lake and you're you're playing with your buddies and they're sitting there holding the brake and burning the belt you're not doing that and you get instantaneous all you don't have to squeeze the throttle you don't have to all you do is just the, the throttle is taped to the bars you let the brake out and it just it takes off it's a lot of fun and you feel this thing all that 180 horsepower getting down to the ground so really fun feature super cool i enjoy it a lot another part of the electronics that are that are kind of integral to the Mach-Z is the smart shock system and on the on the center console here we have the smart shock adjuster which so smart shocks is a a really cool uh, electronic shock technology you probably you know have seen stuff on Can-Am uh, side-by-sides with smart shocks you've seen Polaris with Polaris Dynamics and the KYB smart shock system is the industry first semi-active suspension and it reads chassis inputs so there's multiple inputs on the chassis that allow this thing to understand exactly what's going on on the trail and then deliver a semi-active suspension so what that means is if you're going around a corner and it senses that with a you know the yaw sensor or whatever it is it then goes okay well i need to bump up compression a little bit on the outside ski shock because he's going through a right hand turn and it's putting ski pressure over on that you know sorry on the left hand side so we need to bump up compression a little bit very smart very intuitive works with the the rear shock as well and it does a great job it's it's definitely noticeable um, it's not too stiff it's very smart it's exactly what when we were raving about dynamics on polaris side by sides this is what skidoo has brought to the snowmobile market and it works really good your your money is safe here if you're doing a spring check which spring check is only open until the end of march keep that in mind a lot of people are used to that going a little bit later but this year spring check is only open until the end of march so if you're going to order a new sled whether it be a moxie that comes standard with it or whether you're going to spring check and upgrade to that smart shock system uh it works it's cool and it's functional so don't don't feel bad checking that box you're going to have a, a a really good deliver you know deliverable there on top of that you've got comfort sport and sport plus mode essentially comfort is if you're just ripping out on the trail it's nice and smooth you don't really want to you know you're not going super hard and aggressive riding with the guys and and pounding the bumps sport mode is hey the trail just got a little bit stiffer i'm going or a little bit rougher i'm going a little bit harder on the trail and i want to have just that bit bit more compression ratio if you think of um if you think of QS3 shocks, I would say comfort mode is level one on QS3, sport is level two, and sport plus, well, that's level three on a QS3 shock. Think of it that way, but then the smart shock system is also changing and valving and doing all kinds of cool stuff throughout, you know, your, your suspension travel and, and depending on what the vehicle is actually doing. So anyways, something that I wanted to touch on. You can order smart shocks and you can get the Turbo R900 motor in other vehicles. If you take this sled, which is a 137, and you compare it, let's say, to a Renegade XRS, if you spec that Renegade XRS with a 900 turbo, and you get the smart shocks, and you get the premium graphics, and all those types of things, you're going to be right in the same ballpark price-wise. I think it's like 500 bucks difference. So looking at the Mach-Z, if, you know, if you're questioning whether to do this or not, the Mach-Z is not a huge upcharge. They're actually giving you great value. You get really really nice graphics and coloration and extra cool stuff that you don't get on the xrs but it comes standard in this it's only a 500 hundred dollar upcharge so i'm actually very impressed because a lot of times manufacturers will kind of try to bump things up a little bit more and and get you there 500 bucks it's falling down there's all kinds of cool features on this you know there's the the specialty stitch seat and all that kind of nice stuff that's that's well worth it um, it also comes from the factory with the four link attachments at the back so you can put two different link accessories on this is a 137 moxie only comes as 137 there is no other option i believe the only option that you can spec out on this sled is whether you want the 125 uh ice ripper or the regular 125 ripsaw i think it is so on a sled like this i guess people are going to opt for not having the pre-studded ice ripper if they're going to put a whole ton of studs in this thing and the cool part is the um uh, the other track option is a two-ply so i'm not i'm not 100 certain i'll check in to see whether this ice ripper is a two-ply as well but i know that the um the ripsaw is 
a two ply track that comes on it and that's because they want that durability because they know this thing's going to be running high digits and they're probably pretty certain that people who buy that track are going to stud the snot out of this thing and put as many as they can in there because this is going to be a lake racing beast what else can we talk about on this sled it doesn't come with the pilot ts's so I, i'm actually i you know i'm not sad about that i love this ski package works great it's less unsprung weight and something about weight that's interesting to talk to talk about if you compare the Mach Z to the XRS, similarly equipped with all of the extra features and all that extra stuff, this sled is only, I believe, uh, 17 pounds heavier. So it's not, it's not terribly uh, heavier. When you add on the um, the Smart Shocks to that XRS, it takes it up another level. And I'm not sure because I wasn't be able to, I wasn't able to find that exact number about how much weight Smart Shocks adds to the system. But I'm I'm guessing that there's probably quite a bit of it in that in that package right there. So weight on this sled is not, you know, not huge, not abundant. There's not a whole bunch of extra weight that's thrown on it. Something to keep in mind: the 7.8 inch uh, cool color uh, gauge comes standard on the Mach Z. It's an option if you spec it out onto an XRS. It's a it's an up upgrade. Uh, you know the the smoked hand guards that are clear, but you know kind of a smoke color. The smoked windshield, all that stuff comes factory as part of the Mach Z package. So when you buy this, you get a one stop shop. I'm really excited to get this thing out on the trail and see exactly how it handles. I've only put a little bit of time out on it. I've been playing with it on the lake. I've found it to be super fun, super fast. Obviously everybody's going to ask that question. Well, how does it do against a Thundercat or an SRX? Well, we're, we're going to let you know that in the future, in the very near future, but uh, actually we'd love to see your comments below and, and let us know what you're thinking in that, in that department because we might be able to get something up sooner than later. But I can tell you right away, seat of the pants feel this sled is fast, like not a little bit faster than the old Turbo 900, a lot faster than the old Turbo 900. And it feels, it feels more responsive. Is there a little bit of throttle lag? Slightest bit because it's because it's using that system, just the slightest bit. But once you get it out and you start putting it around the lake and it's past engagement, no issues whatsoever, feels great. And I mean, it's just a natural reaction, you know, of having a little bit longer intake runner. So no issues there. I'm not upset about that. It feels really good. It feels confident. It feels strong. The sound from it, is really really good when you get it out on the lake and you you know you hold that stutter button down and you let go it's it's making all kinds of great noises i can only imagine what the aftermarket is going to do with that but i don't think you need anything it, it feels great right from the get-go really comfortable um, some of the things you'll notice is down in the rear skid there's some cool colorations and some just just some neat little uh you know parts and pieces that that have color the rear bumper the front bumper and the handlebars have a a nice oh and the spindles as well sorry have a really nice gold color uh, or sorry pewter pewter kind of yeah it's, it's just a really pretty looking sled that color carries over into the graphics and then also into the seat um, and even the seat stitching at the back so that's pretty cool uh, something to talk about with steering this has the rack steering system that comes from the race sled and it, it's supposed to keep it tracking straighter so when I do the test ride I'll definitely let you know how I how I think that that performs and how it feels but it's a it's kind of a new um, steering system that they're that they're putting on this so that's kind of cool um, yeah it's the pilot ts skis i talked to you about that and sorry pilot x instead of ts i apologize so that's uh that's something that we like less unsprung weight up front it comes with a standard four link attachments and the standard 7.8 inch, uh, .8 inch uh, lcd display so that's pretty cool and again 500 bucks more not that much it really doesn't you know for anybody looking to buy a sled like this you get that lower ride height you get all that premium cool stuff, the coloration, all this really, you know, really nice features. And it's, it's only 500 bucks extra. It's, it's not even worth arguing about. So that I really like, I'm really, really stoked about that. And those suspension numbers that I was wondering about earlier that I was telling you, it's 9.3 inches of travel up front and 11.5 out back. So that's pretty cool. The other neat thing to notice is that this is serial number two. So this was the second slide ever built. We, have noticed that since receiving it, it already has almost a thousand miles on it. So it's got some good running thus far. We're gonna put a whole lot more on it uh, starting today. And I'm, I'm just, I, I'm kinda, I like that. I like that it came to us with a few more miles because we know past break-in, um, it's, it's had some running, it's proving itself, and we're, uh, we're gonna go out and, and push it really hard too. But I'm excited for you guys to, uh, to be able to see the test ride on this. I think we're gonna get that up 
this year uh, ahead of time and, and let you know our opinions after I've gotten it out and, and really beat on it on the trail and see how these smart shocks work and see how this turbo motor feels out on the trail because I know on the lake it feels great, but um, let's see how it performs in, in the day-to-day -day riding. I, I think we're gonna be nothing but impressed with it. So hope you enjoyed it and uh, you know what? Why don't I do a, why don't I do a launch control takeoff here? We'll, uh, I'll put my helmet on and, and you can see and hear what it sounds like.